So the more I think about the card, the more I think the card is valuable over maybe a million dollars. So the only comp I have to compare is a Black Lotus PSA Alpha 10 with an autograph from Christopher Rust 10. I've actually seen this card in person. I believe there are two PSA 10 Black Lotuses, uh, and this is one with a signature. I don't know if the other one has a signature on the actual card. A lot of times they have signatures on the case of the card, which I find very foolish, but it is what it is. And that card at the time was going for $400,000, $500,000 in trade. So that's not $500,000 in cash. That was $500,000 in trade. This was probably five or six years ago. Yeah, I did see the card in person. Uh, Daniel from Vintage Magic, he came to Houston because the seller was located in Houston, I believe. Or was at least going to meet up in Houston and yeah, I got to see the card. Pretty cool card. Would this card go more, for more than that card? Yes, it will. Uh, so sports cards, you have to understand something about sports cards. There is the Mickey Mantles and the vintage cards are, are obviously very expensive. But the one-on-one Luca, the one-on-one Steph Rookie, the one-on-one, even just take Luca one-on-one. Currently, for a non-autoed black one-on-one in prism luca's rookie year it has a offer from shine we, we might remember shine as the guy who bought the fake uh pokemon case for like 1.3 million from mealy pops and card kahuna who ran away no one's able to identify where card kahuna is today he just kind of left with his money but he is a huge buyer, and he's put a bounty of between 1.5 million and 2 million. Meaning, if you open the card, he'll give you 1.5 million drop to your door. He'll travel. He'll fly wherever you are. 1.5 million, any way that you want it, cash if you want cash, and he will give you that. It's a black one of one Luca. I do not believe it has even an autograph to it because it's a one of one. It is a modern card. It is very expensive. It's very comparable, I think, to this. This is a modern card. Just because it's modern does not mean it is less expensive than vintage, given how the market works. Like, I, I can tell you a million times, you know, this is something that I always have trouble. Like, in the sports market, I have trouble understanding this. You know, why does a Mickey Mantle that's 1960, why is it, you know, half the price of a Luca out of a Luca gold goes for 400k out of 10 in prism uh work obviously I'm talking about rookie year so it's a little bit special but here you know Lord of the Rings this is the first set that they it's in so maybe there's a second Lord of the Rings set and there's a second one of one ring I I think this one obviously would be a lot more valuable because it's the first of its kind could it hit a mill yeah yeah, um, if you look at sports cards and you look at Justin Herbert, his one-on-one -on -one is over a million. You look at a lot of the, um, a lot of, and, and the best comparison is you look at LeBron James and Michael Jordan rookie cards. Obviously, LeBron James is newer, and you can look at Luka rookie cards, right? It's comparable. For whatever reason, it is comparable, even though Michael Jordan's cards are older, uh, because Michael Jordan's cards were not serial numbered. Uh, his rookie cards were not serial numbered at the time, uh, like uh, all this one on one is. So there is not a one on one Michael Jordan rookie card, if that makes sense. So it's more, it's very similar to Magic. In fact, 1987, I mean, it is almost around the same period Magic was printing Black Lotuses, where a Black Lotus is a Black Lotus. There are no serial numbered Black Lotuses. There's no one of one Black Lotus, one out of 10 Black Lotus, one out of 100 Black Lotus. There's just a Black Lotus. Just same with the Michael Jordan card. There's just a Michael Jordan card. Then when you get to today and the Luca one on one Black Prism being upwards of 1.5 million at least, that's the offer from one guy who dropped cash at your door. You might actually have a higher offer if you get a second bidder around. This card could easily clear, I think, a million dollars if it is pulled. And obviously, you probably need to get it graded. It doesn't really, I mean, I don't know. It's always get, I guess, get it authenticated just in case. But 
could be a million dollar magic card. Could be the first million dollar magic card in the history of the game. Let me know if you guys agree, disagree in the comments below. It's very, you know, it gets me, my juice is flowing because now, like, I love opening packs. Now you literally have a $1 million lottery ticket. Hi, guys.